Shalom Alechem, and welcome to the uh, Snake River in Clarkson, Washington with me. I'm uh, Yochanan, uh, uh, Mr. Vance, most people know me as. I go out uh, into Hell's Canyon, and we study the scripture, and I thank you for joining us. We're going to be looking at the scriptures, and today I want you to turn to Ezekiel, Yazekiel, chapter 32. We've been studying the great day of Yahweh and what it is and what it means to believers and to those that are in the world and are rebellious. So please turn to Yazekiel chapter 32. And it came to be in the twelfth, month, twelfth year, in the twelfth new month, moon, on the first of the new moon, Rosh Kodesh that the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim, and you shall say to him, You were like a young lion among the nations, and you are like a monster in the seas, and you burst forth in your rivers, and trouble the waters with your feet, and muddy their rivers. Thus said the Master, Yahweh, and I shall spread my net over you with an assembly of many people, and they shall bring you up in my net, and I shall leave you on the land, hurl you out on the open fields, and make the birds of the heaven dwell on you, and with you I shall satisfy the beasts of all the earth. And I shall put your flesh on the mountains, and fill the valleys with your height, and the water in the land with the flow of the blood unto the mountains, and let streams be filled with you. And when I extinguish you, I shall cover the heaven, and make its stars dark. I shall cover the sun with a cloud, and with the moon shall not give its light. All the bright lights of the heaven, the luminaries, I shall make dark over you, and I shall bring darkness upon your land, declares the Master Yahweh, and I shall trouble the hearts of many people when I bring your destruction among the nations into the lands which you have not known, I shall make many people appalled at you, and their sovereigns, their kings, shall be greatly afraid of you when I swing my sword before them, and they shall tremble continually, every man for his own life in the day of your fail. For thus said the master Yahweh Tezavot, the sword of the sovereign of Babel shall come upon you. By the sword of mighty men, all of them, the ruthless ones of the nations, I shall make your host fall, and they shall ravage the arrogance of Mitzrayim, and all its hosts shall be destroyed. And I shall destroy all its beasts from beside the great water, and let the foot of man trouble them no more, nor let the hooves of beasts trouble them. Then I shall make their waters clear, and make their rivers run like oil, declares the Master Yahweh. When I lay the land of Mitzrayim waste, and the land shall be stripped from all that once filled it, when I have stricken all who dwell in it, then they shall know that I am Yahweh. This is the lamentation, and they shall lament her. The daughters of the nations lament over her. Over Mitzrayim and over all her crowds, they shall lament over her, declares the Master Yahweh. And it came to be in the twelfth year, on the fifteenth of the new moon, that the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, 
wail over the crowd of Mitzrayim and send them down to the depths of the earth. Let her and the daughters of the mighty nations with those going down to the pit. Are you more pleasant than others? Go down, be placed with the uncircumcised. In the midst of those slain by the sword they fall. She shall be given to the sword, drawing her and all her crowds. The mightiest among the mighty speak to him out of the midst of Sheol with those who help him. They have gone down, they lie with the uncircumcised slain by the sword. Ashur is there, and all her assembly, with all their burial sites, all around her, all them slain, fallen by the sword, whose burial sites are set in the sides of the pit, and her assembly is all around her burial place all of them slain, fallen by the sword, because they instilled fear in the land of the living. There is Elam and her crowds <coughs> excuse me, around her burial place, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, who have gone down, uncircumcised to the lower parts of the earth because they instilled fear in the land of the living, and they bear their shame at with those going down to the pit. They have set her bed in the midst of the slain, with all her crowd, with the burial sites all around it, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, for the fear they instilled in the land of the living. So they bear their shame with those going down to the pit. In the midst of the slain, they have been placed. There are Meshach and Tubal and all her crowds, with all her burial sites around her, all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, because they instilled fear in the land of the living. And they shall not lie with the mighty who are fallen of the uncircumcised, who have gone down to Sheol, the grave, with their battle gear, and whose swords were laid under their heads, but their crookedness are on their bones, because the fear of the might in the land of the living shall be broken in the midst of the uncircumcised and lie with those slain by the sword. There is Edom. Her sovereigns are all her princes. She shall be given unto the night with those slain by the sword. With the uncircumcised they lie with those going down to the pit. There are the princes of the north all of them, and all of the Sidonians, who have gone down with the slain because of the fear they instilled. They are ashamed of their might, as they lie uncircumcised with those slain by the sword, and bear their shame with those going down. chapter 33, And the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children with your people, 
and you shall say to them, When I bring the sword upon the land, and the people of the land shall take a man from their borders, and you shall make him their watchman. And he sees the sword coming upon the land, and shall blow with the shofar, and warn the people. of the shofar, but he did not take the warning. His blood is on himself, but he who takes warning shall deliver his being, Tishuba. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow with the shofar, and the people shall not be warned, and the sword comes and takes any being from among them, he is taken away in his crookedness, and his blood I require at the watchman's hand. And you, son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel, and you shall hear a word from my mouth, and you shall warn them for me. When I say to the wrong, O wrong one, you shall certainly die, and you shall have not spoken to warn the wrong from their way. That wrong one shall die in his crookedness, and his blood I require at your hand. But when you have warned the wrong to turn away from his way, as he has not turned from his crookedness, turn from his way, he shall die in his crookedness. But you have delivered your being. And, O oh, son of man, say to the house of Israel, this is what you have said. If our transgressions and our sins lie upon us, and we pine away in them, how shall we live? Say to them, as I live, declares the Master, Yahweh. I have no pleasure in the death of the wrong, but that the wrong turn from his way and live. Turn back, Tishuvah. Turn back from your evil ways, for why should you die, O house of Israel? And you, O son of man, say to the children of your people that the darkness the righteousness of the righteous man shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. And as for him in the day of his transgression, and as for the wrongness of the wrong, he shall not stumble because of it in that day that he turns from his wrong. And the Zadok, the righteous shall not be able to live because of this righteousness in the day that he sins. When I say to the righteous that he shall live, and that he has trusted in the seductness, the righteousness, and shall do unrighteousness, none of his righteousness shall be remembered but because of his unrighteousness that he has done, he shall die. Again, when I say to the wrong, you shall certainly die, if he turns from his sin and does right and righteousness, the darkness. If the wrong restores the pledge, gives back what he has stolen, and walks in the Torah of life, the laws of life without doing crookedness, he shall certainly live. He shall not die. 
none of his sins which he has committed shall be remembered against him. He has done right and righteousness. He shall certainly live. And the children of your people have said, The way of Yahweh is not fair, but it is their way that is not fair. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and does unrighteousness, he shall die because of it. But when the wrong turns from his wrongness and does right and righteousness, he shall live because of it. And you have said, The way of Yahweh is not fair. And, O house of Israel, I shall judge every one of you according to his own ways. And it came to be in the twelfth year of our exile, in the tenth month of the fifteenth Rosh Kodesh, the new moon, that one who had escaped from Yerushalayim came to me and said, The city has been stricken. The land of Yahweh came upon me the evening before the man came who had escaped, and he had opened my mouth before he came to me in the morning, and my mouth was opened, and I was no longer silent. And the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, they who inhabit those ruins in the land of Israel are saying, Abraham was only one, and he inherited the land. <coughs> but we are many. Let the land be given to us as a possession. Therefore say to them, Thus said the Master Yahweh, Eat meat with blood, and you lift up your eyes towards your idols, and shed blood. Should you then possess the land? You depend on your sword, and commit abominations, and each one of you defiles his neighbor's wife. Should you then possess the land? Say this to them. Thus said the Master Yahweh, as I live, those who are in the ruin shall fall by the sword, and the one who is in the open field, I shall give to the beasts to be devoured. And those who are in the strongholds and the caves shall die of pestilence. And I shall make the land a desert and a waste. The arrogance of her strength shall cease, and the mountains of this dry hill shall be a waste with none passing through, and they shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have made the land a desert and a waste because of all their abominations which they have done. As for you, son of man, the children of your people are talking about you beside the walls and in the doors of their houses. And they speak to each other, saying to his brother, Please come and hear what the word is that comes from Yahweh. And they come to you as a people do, and they sit before you as my people, and they hear your words, but they do not do them. For with their mouths they show much love, their hearts pursue greedy gain. And see, you are to be them as a very lovely song, seer, of one who has a beautiful voice and playing well on an instrument. And they hear your words, but they do not do them. And when it comes, see it shall come, then they shall know that a prophet has been in their midst.